Professor Kwesi Bojwe served in office alongside Ghana's longest serving head of state, the late former president Jerry John Rawlings. Professor Bojwe served under the Provisional National Defense Council PNDC regime from 1982 to 1991 and the National Democratic Congress civilian reign as the Secretary for Finance and Minister of Finance and Economic Planning from 1992 to 1995, making him the longest serving finance minister. The late economist received his secondary school education at the Presbyterian Boys Senior High School in Ghana. Professor Bochy held an LLB from the University of Ghana and LLM from the Yale Law School and a doctorate from the University of Michigan Law School. He taught at the University of Zambia, the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, and the University of Ghana. Other notable previous assignments of Dr. Butri were advisor to the World Bank on the 1997 World Development Report. He was, among others, a member and chairman of IMF's group of independent experts who conducted the first ever external evaluation of the Enhanced Structural Adjustments Facility and an advisor to the European Centre for development policy management. Dr. Kwesi Botri was married with three children. Following his death, many have taken to social media to pay a tribute to him. In a tweet, leading member of the New Patriotic Party, Gabi Otridaku, noted that his leadership and commitment to the structural changes of our economy in the late 80s were critical and the impact is still with us today. May he rest in perpetual peace. Director of Strategy and Business Operations at Dalex Finance, Joe Jackson, in a tweet also said, your passing at this time of an economic crisis increases my nostalgia for your record term as finance minister. We'll forever remember you as the minister who changed our economic fortunes. Rest in peace, Uncle Kwesi. Former member of parliament for Keta and a former minister of trade and industry in the National Democratic Congress administration from January 1999 to January 2001, Dan Abudapi, also had this to say about the passing of Professor Kwesi Butri. The news of his passing has hit me like a very big blow because it's just about three weeks ago that we met at the Council of Elders meeting of the party. So when I read the information this morning on my watch service, and I was very, very natural. As you really said, I have worked with him quite closely from the time of the revolution up until the time he left government in 1995 when there was some controversy over the introduction of the value added tax. Griffey was a very hard working old individual, a team player, somebody who believed deeply in the values of the revolution and did his best to make sure that the goals and objectives of the 31st November revolution were realized. When we transitioned into democracy, he was an active participant in that process and still serving at the Ministry of Finance, did whatever it is that he could to help us navigate some of the rough waters. Personally, I've lost a friend. I've lost a great ideological uh, partner. This country has lost a great son and uh, we'll surely meet.